Hello and welcome back to part one of uh, regular expressions. So let's look at how we can actually use regular expressions. So what I will do so that we can uh, go along here, uh, you can try along with me is open your browser and navigate to regex101.com. So let's go here. This is lorem ipsum for dummy text. So just type regex, R-E-G-E-X, 101.com. And then this regular expression tester is going to open. So this is a very nice uh, interface we're going to use to test all the patterns that we create. Righty then. And then the other thing is I want to show you how to run regular expressions inside uh, PHP. So we're going to make sure that our ZAMP is running or whatever server you have. Just make sure it's running. Start Apache. And then uh, navigate to your localhost file folder and create a folder called regex and then create an index.php empty file there and this is the one right here index.php and I have put my PHP tags there and if I come back here this is the one right here so I'll refresh it like so okay so how do you use regular expressions here let's imagine we have a sentence like some text so we say text is equal to, I'll say this is a sentence for testing, like so. Okay, so that's text. But how do I uh, search inside this text using regular expressions? Now there are two expressions you can use. The first one is called pregmatch. They're not actually two, they're more than this. So there's pregmatch here, which takes in a pattern and then the subject. So what is our pattern? How exactly do we write the pattern? Now, a regular expression pattern uh, looks like this. It's uh, a string, obviously, so you put your quotes there, single quotes or double quotes. And then you have to put slashes like so. The pattern goes in between here. So if I want to match the word this, I'm going to put it in between those like that. And then my subject is the text that I'm trying to search in. I will put that there like so. Now, pregmatch returns true or false if I think it returns one or zero, depending on what it finds. So to get your matches, you have to add a um, variable here. You can call it anything you want but matches I think is fitting. And so what we will do here is I'm just going to echo out the result so that we see how this works. Now I'm putting those pre tags because I want to echo uh, arrays and I want them to look better than this, than a single line. So simple, easy peasy. We are doing preg match here. This is our search pattern, very simple pattern and there's the text we are searching in, and this is where the matches will go. So in the same way, if I refresh now, you see that it has matched this in the sentence. So let's try something else. Let's try E. You see there's plenty of E's in here. So I want it to match just the letter E. Let's see what we get. So if I refresh, I will get one E, even though there are several E's in here. So in order to get more than one, if you're just looking to match the very first uh, character there, anything that matches your pattern first, then you use pregmatch. If you want to match every E in there, you use pregmatch underscore or like that. So once I do that, it's going to match every E there. Okay, awesome. So you can see all the E's in there. However, keep in mind that if I put a capital E there, it's not going to match that one. So if I refresh now, you see that the capital E is not in the list. However, if down here I put a letter I, like so, which stands for case insensitive, but don't worry about this, I'll explain these things in detail. 
we're just experimenting here. I put an I there and I come back and refresh. Now you see the capital E is there because it's now case insensitive. Okay, this is uh, awesome. Now, what if I had E here and it will match all the E's which are single or within a word. But if, for example, I didn't want, I just wanted an E that is by itself, I would do something like this, put boundaries there like that, and then come back here, refresh. I get only one E, only the E's that are independent of the others. Okay, so don't worry about this. We're going to talk about these things in detail. So this is one way to match things. The second way to do it is to replace some text in your string. And this one is string. It's called preg replace, like so. Preg underscore replace, like that. So of course it's the same thing. You put in a pattern of what you want to replace. So in here, maybe I want to replace all the E's that are on their own here. So I'll copy that without thinking about the case. So case insensitive, a e, an E that is on its own, and then the replacement text. What do I want to replace it with? So I'm just going to put um, a percent like that. And then I'll check the subject, which is text text like so. Okay, now preg replace will return the replaced string. So new text will be equal to the replacement like that. Okay, so now instead of uh, reading from there, I want to echo out the new text. So you can see the text here has some letter E's there and they are expected to replace these two. So let's come back here and refresh. And you see this is a and there so as you can see uh, it's very easy to match things in there and get them to either replace or just get the matches there and loop through them in a loop so this is how you do it in PHP but we're not going to be using PHP here I want to do regular expressions regardless of the language that you use so what we're going to do is we're going to go to we're going to use this instead, regex 101, to do all of our testing. Okay, so I'll see you in the next video where we begin using this interface right here.